so again if it is your first time here please do not forget to subscribe to the channel which goes by the name Hajj Ways uh, hit that notification button so that you can get notifications anytime we upload the videos and um, do not forget to give it a thumbs up uh, so that YouTube can suggest the video to uh, the wider uh, audience we came from right behind there and now we're headed towards a village on the hill that's a massive office building right in the middle of this neighborhood the Blackley village so we are now um, crossing from the Cromsell to the Blackley village which starts some few meters away from here so this is still the Cromsell and from this tall building all the way up would be the Blackley village As you can see the main public transport here is the bus as opposed to uh, other European cities or even London uh, here we have the uh, famous trams which I'm going to show you uh, in one of my videos when I go to the town center but for the time being in the neighborhoods we don't have trams as much um, in Crumpsall uh, village where we were before there's a tram station which I could not show you but well um, basically in the neighborhoods it's just uh, the buses okay so now this is another village or another neighborhood which is uh, a pretty new one actually so not many years ago this was just bushes and this is the hexagon towers right in the middle of uh, this neighborhood a wonderful architecture And this is the BCC, it's a cable company, the British Cable Company, right, that's their factory. So you don't have to go to an industrial complex uh, centre, but right in the neighbourhood, there's a big company like this, where you can work and live pretty much a walking distance. So all these are brought near uh, uh, the public, which is a very good, um, which is a very good thing, really. More buses. Right, so this is the uh, Blackley village. Try to cross here. Yeah, so this is the Blackley village. This is where it starts. residential buildings let me cross over here it's gonna be easier for me
and then um, as I said before in each neighborhood you would have one two or three schools and this would be another another school which they call the uh, the Pike Fort the Pike Fort primary school which makes it quite convenient actually for our kids to commute and um, actually as from the age of uh, 10 uh, students are encouraged from schools and, and within the families to walk to school as opposed to uh, being dropped off and being picked up and you know what it's a very good idea because it makes them quite um, independent there are goals and those are the facilities it's not a massive school this one it's just a tiny one yeah but there are others that are much much bigger and this is the Blackley village and we're headed to the higher Blackley village the spring and the summer right in this spot is beautiful because it changes totally won't be like this it's gonna be very very green very green and beautiful Look at this guys, beautiful. As I said, and I'm going to repeat that, planting trees uh, to preserve nature is very important, especially now for uh, the future generations because of what is happening with the clim climate change. going up the hill gym time beautiful village and very very quiet except for the traffic for those who live just by the road but um, it's a very quiet village So unfortunately I won't be able to show you the, uh, the high school that I wanted to because uh, I'm running out of battery now uh, but anyways I'll be doing that in my probably my next video or in one of my next videos
and right here we have uh, our primary school right at the end and this one is called the uh, Crab Lane uh, Primary School complete with their playgrounds So they have a massive uh, spot for facility where they can uh, a sports facility where they can do uh, the uh, practice and and sports events. Right, more of the neighbourhood, and I hope I will be able to come back here during the uh, the spring and the summer and uh, shoot another video so that you can see a complete transformation of uh, the neighbourhood because of the uh, vegetation it looks beautiful and right in front of us is a big surprise uh, that I'm going to show you as I'm going to walk through it uh, before I finish recording for the day and it uh, as I said in my uh, uh, previously if it's your first time here consider subscribing to help uh, push this channel forward and um, uh, don't forget to hit the uh, notification button and also give the video a thumbs up which is something that I really really appreciate and it will give me the zeal the interest to continue so this right here is uh, the Blackley or the Blackley as they say the Blackley Cemetery We do have um, some people living in here. Uh, I guess these are the people who work in the uh, in the cemetery. But it's a beautiful place. This people come for a walk here, uh, though it's uh, in some cultures it would probably be a taboo. Yeah. And actually because of the conservation work that has gone uh, uh, on in this place this uh, cemetery has been an award-winning uh, cemetery here in, uh, in Manchester very very peaceful of this it's massive goes all the way down and then all the way down and then all the way down all the way down into the woods The sun is coming out slowly by slowly but it's a very cloudy day as you can see we woke up to a very cold day today 
it was about four degrees anyway, which is not really really bad. But if you're walking in the streets for long, then uh, you're actually frozen. So uh, as I said, um, fortunately I'm running out of battery, so I'm just going to record some few uh, minutes, probably a couple of minutes. But anyways, uh, we've seen the whole of the cemetery now, so uh, uh, we can as well call it a day now. All right. Thank you for uh, accompanying me on this day. And uh, um, as I said, do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, which goes by the name Hajj Ways, and uh, make this your spot. Uh, come back for more videos. Uh, always remember to like the videos and uh, and share them and hit on that notification button so that um, you can get our notifications. And by giving the videos a thumbs up, YouTube is going to suggest these videos to other viewers so that this channel can grow more and more which is something that I will wholeheartedly appreciate. Thank you very much again and see you next time.